The SVD is a beast in Escape from Tarkov and if you have any problems with the SVD, you are playing it probably wrong. And in this video, I'm going to show you what you have to do to get the best out of the SVD in Escape from Tarkov. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back, glad to have you here and today we are talking about the SVD in Escape from Tarkov. In my opinion, it is also very underrated as a meta weapon because the SVD is a semi-automatic and a very brutal weapon in EFT. So what you should do right now is grab a beer or two or anything else to drink and let's start with the build. So I want to mention I really hate theory crafting and in this video I will show you some clips played with SMB and my opponents had some level 5, level 6, sometimes a little bit lower armor and you will see the result just in this video. So this is my SVD build and I'm playing the SVD with the SAG MK1. In my opinion, this system, the free float chassis for the SVD, it's insane because you will get a lot of ergonomics. As you can see right now, we have 32 ergonomics and 136 vertical recoil. It's okay, in my opinion, because we can shoot SMB. We can shoot 762 by 54. This is a very brutal caliber, especially if you shoot SMB and it's very important that you use SMB, but we will check that in a second. What you also need is the Rodor 43 suppressor. Don't buy it from a trader, buy it on a flea because right now it's quite cheap. 33k for this suppressor because the SVD is, as I said, very, very underrated. I'm playing the SVD with the shift grip. In my opinion, this is the best grip for the SVD. If you want to save some money, you can play the Magpul RVG grip. As you can see, you will only lose minus two ergonomics. It's okay. Let's compare it with the RK2. As you can see, minus 12 ergonomics, but you will also reduce your recoil minus seven but it's not worth in my opinion to lose 12 ergonomics and you can of course try the b25 but as you can see minus three vertical recoil it's not that much and also minus seven ergo so i think you should go with the shift grip or the rvg from magpul don't forget to attach a tactical light and of course as you can see with this big rail you can mount a lot of different scopes but we will talk about scopes later on so the overall cost for this SVD meta build is a little bit under 200k, let's say the weapon 80 to 90k and the parts will also cost you around 80 to 90k. You need ammunition of course and all of that stuff. As I said the price is a little bit under 200 to 200k for this SVD. And right now let's talk about the most important point for the SVD, the right ammunition. And I hate theory crafting and escape from Tarkov. I hate theory crafting a lot because in your hideout, in your inventory, on paper, the stats on paper are sometimes quite good. The SVD on paper, no matter what ammunition you use, is very good, especially for the SVD. The SVD is the best example that you actually have to play a weapon to raid a weapon. And I hate videos about some people talking about good builds, but they are not actually playing the weapon or showing you the benefits or the downsides. And I played the SVD the last days a lot to show you that the SNB ammunition is the best ammunition, especially right now for the SVD. And the reason for that is quite simple. With SMB, you don't have this one shot potential compared to seven and one. If your enemy has level four armor or less, you can in theory one shot your opponent, but this is also very uncommon that you one shot your opponent. Most of the times you need more shots. And on top of that, I like if my opponent has seven and one because this enemy is not a real threat. And of course, during the early or mid status of a wipe, not everybody has level five or level six armor. But right now, and as you can see in my clips, the majority of my opponents had level five or level six armor. But just think about SMB. With SMB, you can double tap your opponent no matter which armor he has. And that's the thing. Double tap everything versus one shot in theory, which is very uncommon, your opponent with, le with level four armor or less. So in my opinion, seven and one is not the way to go with the SMB. You have to play SMB. And on top of that, SMB is horrible cheap because nobody's playing the SVD and nobody's playing SMB. And that's the big mistake. And you should use this advantage. Just try it out, play the SVD. You don't have to modify it that much, but it's not that expensive and use SMB. It's so important to use this ammunition because you can tap very fast and SMB is so strong as you can see in my clips. With 7 and 37 you just have too much armor pen, you don't need it, SMB will pen everything and you have more flash damage with SMB compared to 7 and 37 and as I said SMB is so cheap right now, just play SMB, it's perfect. Let's continue with the magazines, in my opinion you have 
only one option. 20 round max, 20 round max, SMB, you can tap fire so fast and it's so nice to play SMB with the SMD. And of course you can play the 10 round max, as you can see, some decent stats, but these 20 round max are so nice with the SVD. Let's continue with the scopes and you can play everything you want in my opinion, PK06, EOTech or some mid-range scopes like the Voodoo, it's great, especially with this rail, you can attach a 45 degree scope on the SVD and I like the SVD with this rail, the SVD overall. And that's the thing, the SVD is a great all-rounder, you can use it on laps, you can use it on customs, you can use it on woods for some long range shots, the SVD is great and I like that very much. Right now I'm going to show you the recoil, first round as always no recoil control. Second round with some proper recoil control. And a third round because the recoil is quite high. Let's try to slow it a little bit down to land some very accurate shots. So as you can see, if you turn down your favorite a little bit on this distance, no problem. If your opponent is closer, and I had it very often during my clips, the SVD is so good if you click as fast as I can. So what is my summary about the SVD? As I said, I don't like videos about theory crafting in your hideout or inventory. I want to show you the actual weapon during a live raid against real opponents because it's so important. I think we have some hidden stats for the SVD, like some center of mass. Nikita confirmed the center of mass. And because of that, it was so important for me to make this video about the SVD that you can see the difference between some theory crafting and some actual gameplay. And I would say the result is quite clear. SMB is so good with the SVD. And I would really recommend you should use the SVD more often because SNB will do a lot of damage. Your opponent will wear level 5 and level 6 armor a lot. As you can see in my clips, the majority, as I said, had like some level 5 Coron killer armor, sometimes slick and the hex grid. And with SMB, you will lose almost every fight. But of course, maybe I'm just a bad player with 7 and 1. And that's why I'm interested in your feedback about this video and the SVD. Type it in the comment section below. And as always, please like this video. It's so important that we Germans can win at least something. And if it's your like for this video, I would really appreciate it. And let's jump to the next video.